Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Vintage Fan Ripple Stitch, which is a stitch that you can see here in front of you. Uh, this is a fun stitch to work. Uh, it's made up of rows of single crochet stitches along with these very tall triple treble stitches. Uh, I've worked it here in three colors. You can work it in as many colors as you would like or as a solid color, which is what I'm going to do in this video tutorial today. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, check out some of the other videos there as well. And then down in the comments, let me know how you would use this crochet stitch in a project. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of this Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, just some that I have on hand here, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. There'll be links to both of these items in the description of this video. And as well in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by working a foundation chain, make your slip knot. And then for your foundation chain, you're going to need a multiple of nine stitches plus one. So today I'm going to chain a total of 19 stitches. Once you have the desired number of chains, and when you're working the stitch, because it has this ripple pattern, uh, realize that your foundation chain is going to gather together quite a bit. Once you have your uh, chain worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. And then into each of the next three chains. Work three single crochet stitches into your next stitch. And single crochet into each of the next eight chains. You're then going to repeat beginning by working three single crochets into the next stitch and then single crochet into each of the next chains. Next eight chains. Once you've done that all the way across, you'll have four chains remaining. You're going to single crochet into each of the final four chains. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row two, you've chained one, turned your work, skip that first stitch and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Next, work three single crochets into your next stitch. And one single crochet into each of the next four stitches.
skip the next two stitches and single crochet into each of the next four stitches. We are now at our repeat. You're going to work three single crochets into the next stitch, single crochet into each, or sorry, work three single crochet stitches into the next stitch, work one single crochet stitch into each of the next four stitches, skip two, and then one into each of the next four. Repeat that all the way across to your final five uh, stitches and into those stitches you're going to work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then a, a single crochet two together over the last two stitches so to work your single crochet two together insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and draw up a loop insert your hook into that final stitch yarn over draw up a loop with three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three that's your single crochet two together for row three we're simply going to repeat our row two so chain one turn your work skip that first stitch work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches work three single crochets into your next stitch one single crochet into each of the next four stitches Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into each of the next four. Repeat that all the way across to your final five stitches. When you come to your final five stitches, you'll single crochet into each of the next three stitches and work a single crochet two together over the final two stitches. At the end of row three, chain one and turn your work. For row four, begin by working a slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. chain six and this counts as your first triple treble stitch work a triple treble into each of the next two stitches to work your triple treble you're going to yarn over four times insert your hook into that next stitch yarn over and draw up a loop then yarn over and pull through two loops and repeat that until all the loops uh, are off your hook or you have one loop remaining. So you'll do that a total of five times. Repeat that in the next stitch, yarn over four times, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and do that a total of five times. Next, you're going to work three triple treble stitches into the next stitch. So three of them all into the same stitch.
Next, work one triple treble into each of the next three stitches. Skip the next four stitches and repeat. Work one triple treble in each of the next three, three triple trebles into your next stitch, one triple treble into each of the next three, and then skip four, and so on. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final uh, peak there, your final stitches. I've worked three, now I need three into that next stitch. You will have, let me see here, two, three, four, five stitches remaining. You're going to work one triple treble in each of the next three stitches and then leave the remaining two stitches unworked. And that brings you uh, to the end of your row four. If you are going to change color at uh, any point in the pattern, I recommend that you do it right here so that you can work your next rows into your color B. At the end of row four, that's the end of your repeats. So you've changed your color if you would like to. Uh, otherwise, you're simply going to repeat your rows one through to four for as long as you would like and changing colors as needed. So you'd chain one, turn your work for this first row single crochet into each of the first four stitches. Work three single crochet stitches into your next stitch. Then single crochet into each of the next eight stitches and repeat that all the way across and uh, finish off with one single crochet in each of the next four. Then the repeat is simple, just continue on repeating two, three, and four, uh, four, and then one, two, three, four, for as long as you would like, changing colors, and that's all there is to working this vintage fan ripple stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, I look forward to see, seeing all that you make. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.